tonight, the stage is set for the ultimate chance of glory. A night where opportunity hangs in the balance. Money in the bank is a night that'll define the future of championship gold. Six men and six women will go to war in heart-pounding ladder matchups, reaching for the chance to hold the coveted briefcases. With future championship shots within their grasp, the best of Raw and SmackDown will collide in a battle that'll leave the world watching on the edge of their seats. Liv Morgan, the ultimate underdog, looks to once again defy the odds as she seeks to reclaim the women's championship for the dominating Shayna Baszler. Can Morgan rise above and prove that the impossible is indeed possible? Carrying Cross, a force of destruction on Raw, sets his sights on reaching the pinnacle of greatness with a war path behind him. Cross aims to ascend amongst the gods with the championship gold in his grasp. But standing in his way is the relentless WWE Champion, Matt Riddle. Riddle, having endured countless battles and emerged victorious, will stop in nothing to retain his hard earned championship. The fire within the original bro burns brighter than ever as he faces the challenge of the Harbinger of Doom, ready to prove that he is a true fighting champion. And taking center stage, Drew McIntyre defends his World Heavyweight Championship against the cunning edge and the calculated Randy Orton. It's a clash of legends, a three-way dance where only the strongest will survive. Tonight, prepare for an electrifying display of athleticism, determination, and sheer willpower. Opportunity will be seized, dreams will be realized, and the landscape of WWE will forever be altered. Prepare to be captivated for the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Welcome to the edge of anticipation, where the quest for greatness begins now. This is WWE Money in the Bank, a night where champions are defined and legends are born. You are looking live at the city of Columbus here in Ohio as WWE prepares to bring you one of the most exciting and career changing nights of the year. Live from the nationwide arena, it's the 2023 edition of Money in the Bank. Seven huge matches signed, five championships to be decided, and most importantly, two briefcases with golden opportunities hang above the ring, just waiting to be captured. We welcome you inside the Nationwide Arena for what is gonna be an off the charts night. These live premiere events get bigger and better each and every month, and it's time to kick off Money in the Bank with six women entering, but only one will leave this excruciating ladder match with that briefcase hanging high in the sky. The man, Becky Lynch, is in Columbus, Ohio. The following contest is a six woman ladder match. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Well, the man, Becky Lynch, has been on a pursuit to become the WWE Women's Champion all year long. Remember, Becky made her return after a hiatus back in January qualifying for the Elimination Chamber matchup. She went on to win that match, went on to fight Asuka for the championship at WrestleMania and tapped out on the grandest stage. Becky Lynch really went through a dark period. She really wasn't the same after that loss, but she's turned things around recently. Qualifying for Money in the Bank after a victory over the newcomer to Raw, Tiffany Stratton, the former NXT Women's Champion who's gonna have a bright future on the red brand was turned away by the man. Could tonight be the night? that Becky Lynch turns it all around. In the same year she won Elimination Chamber, can she win money in the bank? Or will it be this woman, hungry for opportunity, representing SmackDown? And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. 
We want to talk about former champions look no further than a former NXT women's champion as well as a former NXT women's tag team champion. Io Sky has been trying to find her footing on Friday Night Smackdown the last number of months. She briefly teamed up with Dakota Kai and Bayley in damage control, but that relationship quickly went to rest. And Io Sky actually defeating Dakota Kai in a Money in the Bank qualifier a number of weeks back. Io, one of the most exciting women in the division today knows how to take it to the sky no pun intended better than anybody could possibly be seeing that beautiful moonsault off a ladder tonight but i'm sure whatever eo sky has in mind could very well be the recipe for success and that very well could be the woman taking down the briefcase and qualifying herself for a future championship opportunity <laughs> Or could it be the E-S-T? And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair! It was one year ago at this very event that Bianca Belair walked in as the WWE Women's Champion. Unfortunately for her, that championship reign came to an end soon after, and she has not been able to get the gold around her waist. Bianca has not been without championship gold for that long, however, as recently had a run with the tag team titles alongside the woman she defeated to qualify for this matchup, the ballsy badass Shotzi. Two women that have been rivals in the past have been on the same side battling out in an absolutely incredible matchup a few weeks ago in the TD Garden in Boston. But at the end of the day, the EST of WWE, quite possibly the strongest woman in the WWE, qualifying for Money in the Bank, this very well could be the opportunity that Bianca has been looking for to get her chance at the gold yet again. But you may want to watch saying the strongest woman when Raquel enters the room. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Well, we discussed how Io Sky defeated Dakota Kai to qualify for tonight. Raquel Rodriguez defeating the other half of that tag team and Bailey to punch her ticket to the Money in the Bank. Raquel Rodriguez, one of the hottest upstarts on the main roster, also had a run short-lived with the Tag Team Championships. It was actually Raquel and Aaliyah that defeated Bianca and Shotzi for the gold. Unfortunately, Raquel and Aaliyah were stopped last month in Hammerstein Ballroom by Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two women that retained the championships just last night at our channel member exclusive live event in an awesome matchup against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Raquel Rodriguez looking for that singles opportunity tonight. Former NXT Women's Champion, former Women's Tag Team Champion, as we mentioned. But winning that briefcase could catapult Raquel into becoming a future Women's Champion of the World here on the main roster. But no doubt the biggest opportunity of Michin's career. And from Fontana, California, Michin Mia Yim. Well, another woman who recently resurfaced on Monday Night Raw after a short hiatus, picking up a victory over Zaya Lee to qualify here tonight. And Mia Yim, no stranger to these extreme surroundings. Spent years on the independent scene and matches just like this. And Michi and Mia Yim are part of some of the most hellacious matches, dare I say, in NXT women's history. And this could be the opportunity that really takes Mi Chin Mia Yim to the next level on Monday Night Raw. A woman who has really been starving for opportunity, if you will, over the years. And this could be, as we mentioned, the chance that Mia Yim's got to grab that briefcase and take her to superstar status. Whether it's on Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown, it doesn't matter. Of course, that briefcase can be cashed in any time, any place for up to one year. And even though the champion currently resides on SmackDown and Shayna Baszler, that title defended universally between Raw and SmackDown. But here comes quite possibly the most dangerous woman in the match, representing the Judgment Day. The Nightmare, the Eradicator, has arrived in Columbus. And representing the Judgment Day. From Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Well, Rhea Ripley, no stranger to championship gold as well. Former WWE Women's Champion, former NXT Women's Champion, but Rhea Ripley, alongside the Judgment Day, has been taking Monday Night Raw by storm over the last few months. And of course, Finn Balor and Damian Priest still your WWE World Tag Team Champions after a successful defense just 24 hours ago in Cincinnati. 
versus Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Gold still remains in the locker room of the Judgment Day, but will Rhea Ripley be bringing that beautiful briefcase that hangs in the sky above the ring? We could very well be looking at a future WWE Women's Champion. And could you imagine if the Judgment Day is holding all the gold? Could be a very dangerous trio if they're not already on Monday Night Raw and in the entire WWE. This is absolutely stacked field of talent if I say so myself. Rhea Ripley, of course, defeating Alexa Bliss to qualify for the endeavors tonight. But it all comes down to this. The bell has sounded and we are underway. The rules are simple. Six women enter. You gotta climb the ladder, retrieve the briefcase, hang it in the sky, and you are the winner of the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. We know how successful this contract can be. Last year at this very event, that briefcase taken down by the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who cashed in just a month later at SummerSlam to become the women's champion. And Asuka really was a mainstay in the women's championship picture over the last 12 months. Until, oh man, up until she of course lost the gold back in May. And my goodness, Rhea Ripley squashing Raquel Rodriguez on the ladder with that leg drop there. You see how dangerous this matchup can get in a heartbeat. And on the ladder again. I don't even think the ladder was set up on purpose that time, but I think Io Sky might have baseball slid the ladder underneath Raquel. Rubbing salt in the wounds there. And this matchup already breaking down. Chaos in six woman or six man ladder matches, whichever one you want to pick. Of course, three women from SmackDown, three women from Raw. Raquel, Io, Bianca Belair representing the blue brand, Rhea Ripley, Becky Lynch. And all the way up in the corner, each and Mia Yim representing Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley's in the ring. There's chaos in ringside. I don't think Rhea likes her position at the current moment, not reaching for the briefcase. And you want to be careful in this matchup when you get so close and you're high, that high up trying to reach for the briefcase. You don't want to misstep. You don't want to overreach for the briefcase, lose your balance. It was honestly kind of smart there for Rhea to not try to jump for the briefcase, if you will. Early on in this matchup, a lot of matchup to go. But unfortunately, Rhea down off the shot with the ladder by Raquel. We're going to do our best to keep up with all the action in this match as we will later tonight. Of course, the six-man Money in the Bank ladder match still to come. As Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, Braun Breaker, Ricochet, and AJ Styles compete in that very ring later on tonight. It's going to be a stacked night of action. We want to thank you for joining us live here for the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio for the 2023 edition of Money in the Bank. Highly anticipated event here tonight as Raquel Rodriguez sent an EO Sky for a ride and taking out Meechin as well. Recently saw EO and Raquel go one-on-one -on -one last month at Super Smackdown in Washington, D.C. That was a victory for Raquel. Could Raquel be capitalizing on this opportunity tonight, becoming Miss Money in the Bank? The close lines there on Meech Chin who rolls to the outside to try to catch a breather. And you got three of the strongest, most intimidating women in WWE in this matchup, and Bianca Belair, Raquel Rodriguez, and Rhea Ripley. It's hard to pick a favorite in this matchup when you got so many X Factors. Rhea getting sent to the outside, Io Sky on her tail. Meanwhile, Bianca Belair and Becky Lynch really been going at it in this contest on the outskirts of the ring. Oh, wait a minute, speaking of Becky Lynch, excuse me, Bianca Belair clearing off the announce table on ringside here. Meanwhile, Io Sky with the kendo stick using anything to try to take out the other woman in this match. Oh, but keep your eyes on Raquel inside the squared circle, who's reaching for the briefcase. Bianca taking care of Rhea Ripley here. And now still on the other side of the ladder could Bianca Belair or Raquel Rodriguez be taking down the briefcase tonight in Ohio. Oh, Mee Chin eating the side of that ladder. Raquel goes down, a fall by the hands of the EST, who now has her hands on the briefcase, and down goes Bianca. Chaos and disorder promised in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup as you were seeing firsthand. We're left with just two bodies inside the squared circle, at least for the moment. A downed Mia Yim and Rhea Ripley on her tail. His ladder's been coming into play. As Mia Yim just found out firsthand. As chaos ensues on the outside of the ring, you gotta keep your eyes on the only opponent standing on her own two feet inside the squirt circle, and that is the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. 
as we mentioned, could be bringing all the gold to the Judgment Day if she can win the Money in the Bank and eventually cash in successfully. First, she's got to get through five other very dangerous women in this opening contest tonight. Well, meanwhile, look at Raquel Rodriguez here sending Rhea Ripley for an amusement park ride off that inverted neck breaker, whatever you want to call that. Rhea down for the moment. Every woman just running off adrenaline here. Meanwhile, Mia again with the package pile driver on EO Sky, and she might have caught some of the ladder. Absolute anarchy in this contest as Rhea somehow getting back to her feet and taking out Mia Yim. Meanwhile, Io Sky back inside the square circle. Io Sky and Rhea Ripley have had their battles in the past and NXT and on the main roster as well. No strangers to each other are those two women. And Rhea eating the ladder, face first by hands of Io Sky. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair still having a Pier 6 brawl. They have been at each other's throats since the opening bell here. A personal vendetta, if you will, between those two women. Becky going after Raquel. Mia Yim took out Io Sky, but it took out herself at the same time inside of the ring. Rhea Ripley has got that ladder in hand. This matchup, as well as the men's Money in the Bank ladder match later on, could very well come down to a test of endurance. Who's got enough left in the tank to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase hanging up high above the ring? Take down that briefcase, you got yourself a guaranteed championship opportunity anytime, any place for the next 12 months. Meanwhile, Rhea Ripley scaling the ladder again, but you gotta watch Io Sky, who's back inside the squared circle. I don't think Rhea sees her there, and down goes Rhea by hands of the genius of the sky. Io protecting what she wants to be her property. That Money in the Bank briefcase intact high and above the ring, and Io Sky now has got Rhea Ripley in a very dangerous situation. Meanwhile, Mia Yim with the soul food on Becky Lynch, but look at Io going for a Spanish fly on the nightmare. Down goes Rhea Ripley. And Columbus, Ohio, blowing the roof off the joint as the Nationwide Arena looks on in awe of what they are witnessing. Bianca going for the KOD on Mi Chin. She's not having any of it. Yo, Sky, however, takes me off her feet. Oh, yeah. This shot of Raquel with the ladder. Somehow Rhea Ripley still standing. Definitely got to commend the toughness of the nightmare in this matchup. But Io Sky back on her. Going to conflict some more offense on the nightmare Rhea Ripley. Io, nice maneuver there. Showing the case of a little bit of power. We're one of the most powerful women in this matchup. And here's Raquel. Rhea cannot catch a break right now as Rhea gets sent over the top rope. And down goes Io Sky. Every woman's got her back turned. And somebody's taking advantage when they least expect it. Raquel manhandling the man. Now going after Bianca as well, gets set over the top rope. And there's Rhea Ripley with her eyes on the prize, setting that ladder up set, dead center of the squared circle. And taking out Raquel for good measures. We saw this earlier in the matchup, going for those trio lariats. First on Meechin earlier on, and now a set to Raquel as Rhea scales the ropes of the ladder. There's a little bit of chaos going on. Becky Lynch has got the disarmor on Mia, but her back's turned. Can Rhea pull down the briefcase? Well, Bianca's on her tail. Io Sky's on her tail. Io's still on the other side of the ladder here. I do not like this situation for either of them as Bianca shoves them both off the ladder and there's a fall from the heavens. Bianca Belair taking care of business, but unfortunately for her, Mia Yim was lying in wait to attack. That is how dangerous. That is the anarchy that can certainly be displayed in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Mia Yim ruling the ring right now, taking out Bianca, now got her eyes set on Raquel, looking for another soul food, and down goes Raquel. Now Io Sky trying to go after Mia, but to no avail. Mia Ripley back inside the squared circle. Bianca now going after Mia. So much action to call as that briefcase still hangs high above the ring. What a way to kick things off tonight. The Nationwide Arena still six more 
incredible matchups to come, five championships to be decided, and of course the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup later tonight here at Columbus, Ohio, as Raquel, a backbreaker on Becky Lynch. Rhea Ripley back inside the squared circle, got the ladder in hand. And now Rhea scaling the rugs of the ladder. Becky's down, Raquel's down, Io on her tail. It's a race to the finish line for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And Rhea Ripley just trying to eliminate all of her opponents in this matchup, but everybody's still standing. Meanwhile, as she's trying to take out Becky Lynch, there goes Raquel Rodriguez scaring the ladder. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea Ripley showcasing the power here with the suplex from the top of the ladder. Raquel down and out and quite possibly eradicated from this matchup. And Rhea, the sole woman, left inside the squared circle. Too many backs turned, too many bodies down. Raquel on her tail, however, still has got blood pumping through the veins. Slowly but surely, trying to climb the ladder, but she's too late. The Nightmare Rhea Ripley able to outrun Raquel Rodriguez, and she has captured the Money in the Bank contract. An absolutely hellacious opening contest tonight in Columbus. Six women entered, but only one woman was gonna leave with the golden opportunity that hung above the ring tonight. Here is your winner, and Miss Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley. Well, if the Judgment Day wasn't already taking over Monday Night Raw, they certainly took the next step as the Nightmare Rhea Ripley becomes the 2023 winner of the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. The question remains, when's that briefcase going to be cashed in? Could be tonight. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. What is our first championship affair of the evening? And what bigger way to kick that off than with the United States Championship set to be defended? And the challenger, the Hall of Famer, the greatest mask of all time, the master of the 619, accompanied by Dominic, Rey Mysterio arrives at Money in the Bank. We know it was just last month that Rey Mysterio fell short in his final rematch for the Cruiserweight Championship against Santos Escobar. But if you want to show the heart of Rey Mysterio on a silver platter, well, Rey showed it to you firsthand. First going one-on-one -on -one with Giovanni Vinci, picking up the singles victory there, and then the Mysterios in an absolutely show-stealer of a tag team match a number of weeks ago against Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, picking up the W on that night as well. Rey Mysterio, certainly a worthy challenger for the ring general, the undefeated Gunther for the United States Championship here tonight. Mysterio, no stranger to championship gold, but he's specifically no stranger to holding that United States Championship. And after Mysterio's failed pursuit to regain the Cruiserweight gold, you gotta believe Rey Mysterio is more hungry than ever to get back a championship around his waist. And even though the heart of Rey Mysterio is three sizes possibly too big, is this mountain that stands across from Rey too impossible to climb. We will tell in due time as the undefeated Ring General and most importantly the United States Heavyweight Champion Gunther arrives and brings his presence to the nationwide arena. 
Dominic in the corner of Rey Mysterio. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium in the corner of the champion tonight. Guther has turned away the challenges since winning the gold at WrestleMania by defeating Bobby Lashley. Has retained over Wesley, AJ Styles, and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. And that's not including all the victories that Guther has raked up since Imperium joined Friday Night SmackDown back in November. Absolutely intimidating. Guther excruciating inside of that ring. And most importantly, undefeated. But if anybody has toppled monsters in the past, has overcame David versus Goliath situations, it is the man at ringside, the number one contender, the challenger for the gold, Rey Mysterio. Guther cannot take Rey Mysterio lightly tonight, that is for sure. He has turned away some of the best, but Rey Mysterio is a Hall of Famer for being that very best. This is going to be a big fight matchup nationwide arena. Rocking already for the first of five championship matches here tonight, representing Friday Night SmackDown. The United States Championship is on the line. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio! And his opponent from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Always a big fight feel when the championship is on the line and certainly when you have a Hall of Famer challenging an undefeated superstar. Guther handing over the United States title and is he handing over the United States title for the very last time as Rey Mysterio looks upon the prize that could very well be his by the end of this matchup. Thank you for joining us here in Columbus, Ohio for the second matchup of Money in the Bank. We are underway with these two SmackDown superstars and hot out of the gate is Rey Mysterio looking for the quick victory. Oh my goodness, he almost stole it there. Rey Mysterio almost stole the victory over Guther off the bell. And that is great strategy by Rey. Take the fight to the big man. Stick and run, try to get the pinfall as soon as you can. He may have just pissed off the United States champion as Guther keeping it simple and effective, hanging up the smaller competitor in the top rope. On Rey Mysterio, nice duck. Goes for a drop kick, but Guther had it scattered on the second. Grounded Rey Mysterio, and that's going to be Guther's best strategy throughout this matchup. Obviously using the power game, but certainly keeping Rey Mysterio grounded and away from any high-flying tactics. Very interesting matchup here contrast to Styles and there's Guther with a beautiful snap German into the bridge almost had Rey Mysterio there off the one count these two men not waiting to the late rounds of this matchup they are swinging for the fences right off the opening bell and sometimes that's what you got to do you got to bring the pressure not wait around not do a feeling out process of your opponent Rey Mysterio I'm sure has watched enough tape and knows what Guther brings to the table and Guther has sat back and he has watched the 20 plus year career of Ray. These men, these may be in the first time in the ring with each other tonight. They're really no strangers to each other's game. Guther just a vicious chop. Caught Ray almost on the shoulder blade. He follows it up with a neck breaker. Nothing pretty about Guther's offense. He is simply a bruiser inside of that ring. And also such a Mac technician at the same time. Some of the reasons why Guther is undefeated and certainly some of the reasons of which makes him so dangerous from bell to bell. Rey Mysterio didn't know Guther's game. He's finding out firsthand, but I'm going to dodge that shot right there. Here comes Mysterio. Nice maneuver there. Almost a reverse drop kick. Don't think he got all of it, but he got enough to take the champion off his feet, at least for a moment. And Rey Mysterio taking the champ off his feet and out of the ring. And I'm going to the sky. Beautiful. High cross body over the top rope. And Rey Mysterio putting together a game plan tonight and doing his absolute damnness to execute it to perfection. 
Springboard. Another crossbody inside the squared circle. And will that do it? Only a one count that time. Mysterio going for these early covers. He knows that Guther can go the distance. Guther in his last United States Championship defense went damn near 20 minutes plus with the American Nightmare Cody Rose last month. All right, another springboard, this time to the lower back. Mysterio's best shot at winning this matchup, maybe to catch Guther early. And another close call. Only a one count there. And Mysterio is not slowing down. He is sticking and moving. He's taking it to the air. He's doing what has brought him to the dance. Rey Mysterio has been in this situation before, as we, meant, as we mentioned. Many a David vs. Goliath battles for Rey throughout his Hall of Fame career, and plenty that he has overcame. On top, going for the seated senton, and Guther dodged it, and a double boots to the shoulder plexus of Rey Mysterio. And tying up Rey's neck right there. Into the cover on Mysterio and a two count there. And Ray able to get the shoulder up. But you see, a little bit slower that time. The damage of this hard hitting matchup starting to take its toll on the challenger. And Mysterio's got a bigger heart than quite possibly anybody in this industry. If anybody can overcome this battle, it's the master of the 619 who worked damn hard to earn this championship match tonight. And Guther off as a reversal by the ring general. Rey Mysterio is certainly a different style that Guther has not faced in his WWE run just yet and certainly hasn't faced on Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, an overhand shot. Oh, Guther could have been going for that choke hold that has tapped down many of opponents, but Mysterio had it scouted and another DDT into the cover. But unfortunately, Guther saved by the ropes. And Rey Mysterio not able to catch the United States Championship that time. You're smart by Wright, keeping the offense going in a variation this time. Tornado DDT, dropping Guther on the dome time after time again. And back to the top. And there's the seated senton he was looking for a few minutes ago. And do we have a new champion? Not just yet, only a one count even after all that offense by Ray. And Mysterio not slowing down, keeping the pedal to the metal. Through the ropes. Another DDT on the outside. Rey Mysterio with adrenaline pumping in his soul tonight. Guther's on spaghetti legs, and Rey's coming for a hurricane on the outside of the ring. Mysterio, 100 miles a minute here tonight at Money in the Bank, but that's what he's got to do to succeed. Springboard, frog splash, and he hits it to win the title. Mysterio's got him here. Oh, how close was that? One more second, and we had a new United States champion. And look how Guther springs back to his feet and is immediately back on the offense. And a big boot takes Ray down. After all that, after several Tornado DDTs, a Huda Conrad on the outside of the ring, the frog splash, not enough to keep Guther down. But Mysterio counters the power bomb and a West Coast pop. Oh, and again, again, half a second from becoming the new United States champion. A thrill ride for the United States championship tonight. Mysterio seeing Guther on the top rope and the ring general able to avoid it. Whatever Mysterio had in mind, not gonna live to see the day, at least for right now. With the ragged on the opponent, oh no, oh no. Deadly power bomb by the United States champion. Good night, Mysterio. Well, that was an awesome contest. Rey Mysterio gave it his all, but unfortunately the ring general is simply built different than most, and the championship reign rolls on for Imperium. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, Gunter! Add Rey Mysterio to a long list of growing victims. I don't know who is going to step up and take away that United States Championship, but the ring general, Guther, very well may hold the red, white, and blue for a very long damn time. Guther retains the United States Championship here at Money in the Bank.
Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, August the 20th. We are heading to Levi Stadium in San Francisco, California for the 2023 edition of the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam, coming your way on the 20th of August. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Well, the action keeps on keeping on here at Money in the Bank as Monday Night Raw's Intercontinental Championship set to be defended. And here comes the number one contender, the Defiant, L.A. Knight who set the groundwork for this matchup, set a target on the back of Ilya Dragunov about a month ago on Monday Night Raw when he ambushed the champion after a successful title defense against the Bruiserweight Butch. Unfortunately for LA Knight, that wasn't enough to earn himself away to tonight. He had to outlast seven other superstars in Independence Day Battle Royal, eliminating Butch as well as Cedric Alexander in the final moments. And evidently LA Knight was able to punch his ticket to Money in the Bank. And even though he's a loudmouth, even though he's an egotistical son of a bitch, LA Knight at the end of the day earned his way to be here and could very well be Ilya Dragunov's toughest challenge yet for the Intercontinental Championship. But take nothing away from the champion. The invincible Ilya Dragunov about to make his way down the aisle. A man who has held the gold since Saturday night, February the 26th at WrestleMania. He has retained and defeated Butch, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods, Tyler Bate, Shinsuke Nakamura. Dragunov has turned away some of the very best that Monday Night Raw has to offer. And the Invincible One always looking for the next challenge. And the defiant LA Knight could very well just end up as a statistic in the championship reign of one of Monday Night Raw's hottest superstars. I'll tell you what, this is a matchup that I have very much been looking forward to in the lead up to Money in the Bank tonight. LA Knight, as we mentioned, like him or love him, or certainly hate him, a deserving challenger for Ilya Dragunov. And Dragunov, if one thing's for sure, every time he steps foot inside the square circle, you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get a banger of a matchup. You're gonna get Dragunov giving it his all. And if you wanna add something else on that list, as of the past couple of months, you can almost guarantee a Dragunov victory. But at the end of the day, a worthy challenger is a worthy challenger. Ilya Dragunov has turned away some of the best, has bounced back even when his back was against the wall in championship defenses. Will time write the same story? That is what we are about to find out live from the Nationwide Arena here in Columbus, Ohio. From Monday Night Raw, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line here at Money in the Bank. Let's send things down to the ring yet again for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Well, here we go. Ilya Dragunov set to defend the Intercontinental Championship against LA Knight. This should be an incredible matchup. Your first matchup representing Monday Night Raw, your second championship contest of the evening. Already tonight, Rhea Ripley taking down the Women's Money in the Bank briefcase. Gunther retaining his United States Championship. And another hard-hitting contest on deck. The bell has sounded. We are underway with another Ilya Dragunov championship defense and immediately taking the fight to LA Knight. As we mentioned, Knight ambushing Dragunov several weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, and you know the Invincible One has not forgotten. 
I'm sure Ilya Dragunov was almost smiling ear to ear when LA Knight did overcome seven other men in that battle royal. Because not only did he guarantee himself a challenge, which Ilya Dragunov always loves, but he guaranteed himself a shot to get some payback on LA Knight for that attack. And LA Knight. Nice shot to Ilya Dragunov there. It's one thing to take Dragunov down. It's another thing to keep him there, however. That is something we have seen firsthand over the last several months. As we mentioned, Dragunov has turned away some of the best. Butch on now one but two occasions. Tyler Bate, Apollo Crews, Xavier Woods in an awesome matchup a few months ago on Raw. Shinsuke Nakamura back at Backlash. Remember, Dragunov even defeated the New Day's Big E to originally qualify to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship back at WrestleMania. Dragunov has beaten the best. He has fought the best in LA Knight. Looking to overcome a man who is quite possibly invincible in every sense of the word. LA Knight, no slatching, slatch inside the ring either. Remember, not only has he won that battle royal a week prior to that, picked up the victory against Rob Van Dam on Monday Night Raw. Now LA Knight finds himself in a championship opportunity tonight. Pinfall by Dragunov. I think Dragunov knew he wasn't going to defeat LA Knight there. I'm just trying to get into the psyche of the challenger. Dragunov not afraid to play a couple of mind games when he deems necessary. They had turned his back on the wrong superstar, though. And speaking of superstar, the megastar cradles up Dragunov, and he almost had him. Two count. One second away from a new Intercontinental Champion and a takedown by LA Knight. You know, whether you like LA Knight, you hate LA Knight, you love LA Knight, you certainly can't deny the popularity of the Defiant Knight. I'm sure a lot of fans here in Columbus, Ohio and watching around the world would love to see this loudmouth wrap a championship around his waist. He might not care what the people think, but the people got something to say about LA Knight. You gotta watch your showboat and it gets a lariat that he can hurt around the world. One that Stan Hansen would be proud of. Not enough to keep LA Knight down and out for the three count, but my goodness, what a shot. Shout out to Stan Hansen, shout out to Bradshaw on that one. Ilya Dragunov sending LA Knight's head off his shoulders into the fifth row of Nationwide Arena. Knight, oh, however, lucky to be counting his stars right now. Sending Dragunov out of the ring. Thought oh, he might have been going for the breather in there instead. Taking the outside. Maybe trying to play some mind games of his own on Ilya Dragunov. Which may not be the worst strategy against a man who has turned away such incredible challenges. LA Knight, I'm sure, he knows what Ilya Dragunov is capable of. He knows what it's going to take to defeat the champion here tonight. He knows he's going to have to bring a different game than everybody else has. Whose game is it? It's LA Knight's game, as he's showing right now! Three. Down and out on the outside. Well, tried to follow it up, but Ilya dragging off now. Oh my goodness, power bomb! Oh man! Took out the barricade! LA Knight, you want an emphatic force off that power bomb! Taking out the barricade off the crash landing! We got a Pier 6 brawl in Nationwide Arena between Dragunov and Knight. Things are personal here tonight. It ain't just about the Intercontinental Champion trip. Dragunov does not take well to disrespect, and that is how he feels about LA Knight. He feels he disrespected him on that attack a few weeks ago. Dragunov's out for retribution tonight. Chaotic matchup right now on hand for the Intercontinental Championship as LA Knight trying to fight his way out between a rock and a hard place. Dragunov back inside the squared circle. LA Knight on his tail, however. Back at a stalemate inside the ring. LA Knight throwing a couple live rounds against one of the hardest hitters in World Wrestling Entertainment, but take nothing away. Could have been a knockout blow by Knight. Not just yet. LA Knight, I don't know how he's still moving right now. That power bomb sent LA Knight right through. You see the barricade imploding at ringside. A clear cut view into the WWE Universe here at Columbus. And LA Knight still fighting. Take nothing away from LA Knight, an incredible talent who has worked long and hard to get to this opportunity tonight. We're looking to make the most of it. Wow, what an elbow drop off the top. Right to the heart 
of the champion, but the champion's still fighting. The Fiat Knight got some height right there. Quite possibly could have grabbed the money in the bank briefcase hanging above the ring with that kind of height. Dragunov getting to his feet and LA Knight allowing it, picking his spot. You see LA Knight almost slowing down the pace after a little bit of a faster, hard-hitting opening few moments in this matchup. LA Knight wants to wrestle his style of match. Does not want to meet Dragunov in a matchup that fits the Invincible style. Does not want to be playing the defense game against the champion. LA Knight needs to be on offense. He's able to avoid the kick there, but a simple yet effective takedown by Ilya Dragunov. Oh, wait a minute. Nice counter by Knight trying to steal the victory, but Dragunov saved by the ropes. LA Knight not watching his ring awareness there. A rookie mistake by a veteran of the ring. Dragunov is hurt. And LA Knight is looking to inflict some more punishment. To the cover again and only a one count. That is the thing about Ilya Dragunov throughout his Intercontinental Championship reign. When you think he's down and out, when you think he's moments away from losing his Intercontinental gold, a certain fire gets lit in the heart of Dragunov and he comes back almost in a blades of glory to retain the championship. LA Knight's got to realize that he's in there with somebody who's got a second and third gear and at any moment can flip that switch. Oh, and a discus chop takes LA Knight off his feet. Goes for the senton and nobody home. Dragunov trying to build some momentum, but LA Knight not going to allow it, and down he goes again. LA Knight changing the tides of momentum in this match and not allowing Ilya Dragunov to change him back. And to the top buckle we go. LA Knight's wheels are spinning, and I think he's looking to bring Ilya Dragunov for a little bit of a ride. Superplex! A crash landing dead center of the ring. Columbus, Ohio, loving what they see, but will they love a new champion? But Dragunov not going to give it to him just yet. Only a count of two. Ilya Dragunov still fighting. This is a man who took down Guther's 870-day reign for the Intercontinental, or excuse me, for the NXT United Kingdom Championship several years ago. Ilya Dragunov coming up to the main roster last fall and has made an impact ever since. There's a reason he is going on several months as the Intercontinental Champion. One of the best Monday Night Raw has to offer is the man in the black and the red. But the man in the green looking to spell money tonight. Another cover by Knight. Almost had him again. How many close calls are we going to see out of LA Knight tonight? I think LA Knight realizes that he cannot allow Dragunov to find any glimmer of hope in this matchup. No window for opportunity to change momentum. Can LA Knight allow? And down goes Dragunov off the burning hammer. And that may do it. I think we got a new Intercontinental Champion. Not just yet again. Ilya Dragunov kicks out and LA Knight's starting to come unglued. In disbelief at the man that he is in the ring with. It's been well documented. Even here tonight, LA Knight, no ordinary competitor. No mortal man. Invincible in every sense of the word. LA Knight is still trying to throw any shot he can. Any left, any right. Open hand, closed fist, whatever works. But Dragunov doing the same. Off the reversal and a bare knee. Right to the solar plexus of LA Knight. This is what we are talking about. The second or third gear that Ilya Dragunov has got in that tank. That LA Knight cannot allow the invincible one to kick into. Dragunov starting to go to that place. Where he picks apart his opponent. With every live round he can imagine. Open shots and falls over the forearm. In the corner and a corkscrew. Manhandling LA Knight down to the canvas. Dragging off, dictating the pace at this very moment. And into the cover to retain the title. And LA Knight kicks out with a close call. Early a Dragon off. LA Knight's down. Dragon off out of nowhere. Torpedo. And I think you can count to 20 on that one, not just yet, as LA Knight gets the shoulder up, and how close was that? Ilya Dragunov, not participating in the build-up tonight, went right for the kill. 
hit the torpedo headbutt, and somehow LA Knight still has got life left in him. Able to shake the cobwebs loose, and is back inside of this matchup. We said this one was gonna get personal for the Intercontinental Championship, and we are witnessing a fight of all fights right now. Dragunov went for the kill to no avail, now LA Knight back in control of this matchup, at least for a moment. He could be going for a second burning hammer if he hits this. Oh, wait a minute, instead goes for the swinging neck breaker. Oh, smart by Dragunov. Smart by Dragunov, rolling underneath the ropes to try to at least change the momentum. But LA Knight, down goes Dragunov. Down he goes, BFT. And we almost had a new champion, but a kick out by the Invincible One. The blunt force trauma by LA Knight. Not enough to win the Intercontinental title. Could be going for it again, but Dragunov off the reversal. And now Ilya Dragunov coming unglued with the power bomb. Man, here we freaking go for the Intercontinental title. Back and forth, the pendulum of momentum swings as LA Knight with Dragunov on his shoulders again, going for another neck breaker. At some point, it becomes a test of endurance. Who's got enough intestinal fortitude to outlast the other and survive and become the Intercontinental Champion? Will it be the Megastar, or will the championship remain with the Invincible One who sends LA Knight for a ride? To the outside, the Defiant Knight goes, and Ilya Dragunov is heading somewhere where we don't see him too often. Understands he's got to think outside the box tonight. A crossbody from the heavens by the champion. You know, Dragunov realizes that he is in the ring with a true challenge when he heads to the top rope. Not something we see out of Dragunov's arsenal too often. And LA Knight trying to flip the switch on Dragunov, sending him into the steel steps. Right by that shattered barricade. These two men busted wide open earlier on in this matchup. LA Knight, of course, cannot win the title via countout, but he can certainly do some damage on the outskirts of the ring. Back inside the ring goes Knight. Is he gonna follow Dragunov out there? No, I think he sees Dragunov is on his feet. Gonna take a couple extra moments of rest. You gotta like that strategy by Knight. He can drag it off down, and Ilya Dragunov is in trouble right now. Oh, wait a minute. On the shoulders again, and another burning hammer! The Invincible One may have met his kryptonite. Dragunov is down with only a pulse, but Ilya Dragunov could be meeting his doomsday as LA Knight with a second BFT into the cover! We have a new Intercontinental Champion! And his name is L.A. Knight! What an incredible Intercontinental Championship reign of Ilya Dragunov from WrestleMania to Money in the Bank comes to an end on July the 16th as L.A. Knight was the kryptonite to the Invincible One. Here's your winner. LA Knight set his target a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. He called his shot and he made the most of it. And tonight, here at the Nationwide Arena, we are leaving Columbus, Ohio with a brand new Intercontinental Champion. And his name is LA Knight. Well, coming up next here at Money in the Bank, will we have a new WWE Women's Champion as Liv Morgan looks to right the wrong of King of the Ring as we run back Liv Morgan versus Shayna Baszler one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Women's Championship of the World. In the unforgiving world of WWE, the pursuit of greatness can be a tiring journey. And for Liv Morgan, her ascent to the top has been both a roller coaster of triumph and heartbreak. But now, she stands at a crossroads, facing the imposing presence of the reigning and dominant WWE Women's Champion, Shayna Baszler. It was at Vengeance on May 14th, 
when Liv Morgan achieved the unthinkable, toppling the mighty Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. A victory that sent shockwaves through the WWE Universe, proving that Liv Morgan is a force to be reckoned with. But her celebration was short-lived. For Shayna Baszler, victory is an obsession. She has carved a path of destruction, remaining undefeated over the last five months. Baszler proved her mastery over Morgan, tapping her out not once, but twice. First at Raw Homecoming, and then at King of the Ring. But Liv Morgan is not one to back down from a challenge. Determined to prove her victory against Asuka was no fluke, she seeks redemption. Morgan aims to show that she has found a way to outlast the submission magician herself. Baszler, on the other hand, has waited years for her moment at the top. Relentless and unyielding, she is not planning to step aside anytime soon. Baszler's hunger for dominance is insatiable, and she intends to maintain her stranglehold on the women's division. These two fierce competitors will collide at Money in the Bank on July 16th. It will be a clash of wills, a battle of perseverance, as Liv Morgan looks to prove her mettle against the formidable Shayna Baszler. Can Liv Morgan find a way to outlast the Queen of Spades and dethrone the reigning champion? Or will Shayna Baszler continue her dominance, further solidifying her place atop the WWE? The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Well, it is time for our third championship match of this evening. And the challenger has been waiting upwards of five weeks for this occasion. Liv Morgan one month and change ago lost the WWE Women's Championship that she worked so hard to obtain against the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Liv Morgan not wasting any little time, invoking her rematch clause for right here tonight in Columbus, Ohio. And Liv looking to right the wrong of five weeks ago in Philadelphia and win back the championship that she won back in May. This is obviously an uphill battle for Liv, for Liv Morgan. And the same situation that we talked about back at King of the Ring rears its ugly head tonight. Liv Morgan coming into this matchup, the underdog. And the opposing, Shayna Baszler, the dominating WWE Women's Champion. Looking to pull out the ace of cards yet again and tap out Shayna Baszler, or excuse me, tap out Liv Morgan for the third time in a row. And the queen enters money in the bank. Shayna Baszler has been unleashed over the last few months. Undefeated over the last five months on Monday Night Raw and most importantly this recent run on Friday Night Smackdown ever since getting drafted in March. And Shayna of course making the most of her opportunity when it reared its head. She was determined the number one contender for King of the Ring and my goodness did she ever make the most of it. Baszler has continued to dominate over the women's division over the last five weeks, retaining her championship against Candice LeRae. I'll bite via countout. We're still, still going to need to run back that matchup between Candice LeRae and Shayna Baszler in my personal eyes, but it very well may not be for the women's championship if Liv Morgan has her way tonight. Shayna this past Monday night tapping out a close friend of Liv Morgan in the goddess Alexa Bliss. So momentum on the side of Shayna Baszler, but Liv Morgan's out for revenge and out for the championship here tonight. Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! And her opponent from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, she is the WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler! Well, yet another big fight feel here in the Nationwide Arena. Money in the Bank has been rocking all night long. 
Moments ago, LA Knight becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. Will we see another new champion? Is Liv Morgan about to win the gold after a five-week hiatus with the championship? Or will the dominance continue of the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler? The bell has sounded and we are underway here at Money in the Bank and Liv Morgan going for Tornado DDT early and Shayna Baszler having none of it. I am sure Liv Morgan has watched back the footage of King of the Ring as well as that tag team matchup at Raw Homecoming just a few days prior. And looking to find the weaknesses in her own arsenal that she could try to improve upon and defeat Shayna Baszler this time around. Liv coming out of the gates hot and heavy. Trying to get one up on the champion tonight. But Shayna Baszler, of course, the confidence of the Queen of Spades. She has tapped out Liv Morgan twice before. I'm sure she is confident she can do it for a third time. Liv Morgan, as we mentioned, hot out of the gate. She has got to change up the arsenal tonight. She's got to throw something at Shayna Baszler that the Queen of Spades is not expecting. And it could be a quick pinfall here to defeat the champion, not just yet. Liv Morgan may be the underdog coming into this matchup, but you gotta remember, Liv was the one who dethroned the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, two months ago at Vengeance for the Women's Championship. Asuka, one year ago, as we talked about earlier tonight, won the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match, which really propelled her and with 12 months worth of success here in the WWE, and Liv Morgan was the one who made that success come crashing down. But the question remains as to whether Liv Morgan can take down the dominating Shayna Baszler, but Baszler starting to roll. Superwoman punch off the step up, and Liv looking for a light at the end of the tunnel right now. Rolling to the outside, try to catch a breather, but the champion has obviously got something in mind. Shayna's also looking to mix up the arsenal. Coming into this matchup tonight, and a Superwoman punch from the heavens to the outside of the ring. Liv Morgan might have caught some of the elbow, some of the forearm as well off the delivery. A nasty landing for Liv Morgan. Shayna Baszler coming for the kill tonight. Looking to retain the women's championship over a game challenger. Shayna isn't underestimating Liv. It was not an easy matchup by hook or by crook. Shayna Baszler got the job done five weeks ago at King of the Ring. But it was not without a relentless pursuit. Oh, look at Liv Morgan. Nice counter on the outside and a DDT at ringside. And Liv gonna make her way back into the ring. And you gotta commend that move by the challenger. She knows she can't win the title via count out and she cannot allow Shayna Baszler to use her surroundings to her advantage. Get this thing back inside the squared circle. Now Liv Morgan off that DDT on the outside starting to build some momentum in this women's championship matchup. As we mentioned, as it's been well documented, Shayna Baszler was back at Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden last month. Baszler, now the new, misses Money in the Bank, Rhea Ripley with the victory over Liv Morgan and Alexa Bliss, where Shayna Baszler tapped out Liv on that night in MSG. And then just a few days later, tapped out Liv Morgan to the Carafuda Clutch again at King of the Ring in Philadelphia. I'm sure those two nights, most importantly, King of the Ring, have been replaying in the mind of Liv Morgan ever since. She has not forgotten about the fall she took. Looking to right that wrong tonight as Shayna goes down in the corner and Liv Morgan house of fire off the drop kick. Gotta commend Liv Morgan's effort tonight. She is keeping her foot on the gas pedal. Really trying to outlast anything Shayna Baszler's got to throw at her. Right now, the Queen of Spades trying to change the momentum and really calm this match down. Liv Morgan's wrestling her style of pace right now. Really fast pace, a lot of strikes. Shayna Baszler could be looking for a kill. Unloading on the challenger with these kicks. Kick to the gut. Shayna Baszler muscling up the challenger. And face first goes Liv. Dead center of the canvas. And a close call there for the number one contender, but Liv Morgan survives. Baszler thought she had it, but not so fast. And Liv Morgan, nice reversal there. Shayna Baszler could have been looking for another finishing maneuver, quite possibly the Carafuda clutch. But Liv Morgan off the spin he spinning heel kick, and down goes Baszler to the outside. And now Liv, this time it's her heading to the top rope. And here comes the challenger going for the crossbody, but she gets caught. 
Shayna Baszler with the strength, with the wherewithal to catch Liv Morgan and slam her down to the floor. In a matter of a snap in the fingers, Liv Morgan was starting to build some momentum in this contest, but the champion says otherwise. Back and forth, this matchup has really been and you see two different styles really clashing in this matchup. Shayna Baszler wants a slower pace. She wants a methodical beatdown of Liv Morgan. Liv, on the other hand, as we talked about earlier, trying to keep her foot on the gas pedal. Here comes the challenger again, but a crash landing as Shayna Baszler is nowhere to be found. And Liv might have just costed herself. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. She saw Shayna down, took to the air. Unfortunately, the time Liv Morgan was heading for the landing. Baszler already out of hindsight. Shayna back inside the squared circle. Liv Morgan, however, not going to go down in the blades of glory tonight. Sending Shayna to the corner. Liv has got to get things going there. That was a tough couple of landings on the outside that you know took Liv a lot out of Liv Morgan. And Liv trying to give Shayna a taste of her own medicine. Just dumping her off the top rope. Nothing pretty out of the challenger, but certainly effective to beat down the champion. Allowing Baszler to get in the ring, but Liv Morgan lying in wait. Her wheels are spinning right now, and Liv looking to execute on the game plan tonight. After being in the ring with Shayna Baszler five weeks ago at King of the Ring, Liv Morgan has had to be just salivating for this matchup tonight. There's Baszler off the reversal, and now Liv Morgan once again about to be tied up in the grasp of the submission magician, Shayna Baszler. So it makes Baszler so dangerous. She'll pick you apart, body part by body part, limb by limb, as we are seeing right now on the ground and pound, the full mount on Liv Morgan moments ago. It's reversal, but she gets caught with the lariat. As this matchup progresses, Liv Morgan it's almost very apparent that she's fighting an uphill battle. <laughs> Trying to give everything she's got right now to take down Shayna Baszler. Wait a minute, what's Liv got in mind? Liv Morgan off the ropes. Look at this, a little satisfaction by Liv Morgan. A shout out to the Hall of Famer. Not enough to keep Baszler down, but Liv Morgan pulling out any trick she can imagine tonight. What a maneuver by Liv, executed to perfection. Not enough to keep Baszler down for the three count, but Shayna is rocked. Shayna was not expecting that offense by the challenger as she goes flying off the top rope again. Liv is kicking it into a new gear, and this is what the challenger's got to do to become champion here tonight at the Nationwide Arena. Baszler down the outside again. Liv knows she can't win this via count out, but she could certainly do some damage. On the apron now, Shayna Baszler on spaghetti legs, and here comes the champion, excuse me, the challenger, taking down the champion. Liv is trying to use her surroundings to her advantage right now, or at least use the high ground, coming off the apron, but another reversal. Out of the way was the champion, and Liv eats the floor of the Nationwide Arena. Those high-risk maneuvers are costing Liv Morgan in this matchup. I commend the effort, I'm trying to mix up the offense, but clearly Shayna Baszler's got it scouted. These are not able to capitalize, however, and things starting to break down here in this women's championship matchup tonight at Money in the Bank. Liv Morgan has been fighting to be on top of the women's division for months. She defeated Asuka, but tonight's the night where she can prove that that matchup was not a fluke. She's back inside the ring, over the corner. This time, she hits the crossbody on Shayna Baszler. Liv Morgan coming from the sky and able to take out the champion, finally getting the landing she has been searching for throughout this contest. And now inside the ring to become the new women's champion. Only a one count there. Baszler gets the shoulder up and Liv Morgan's in disbelief. How close Liv Morgan thought she was, but Shayna Baszler as tough as they come. Only a one count there. But Liv not gonna stop swinging for the home run. A double knee takedown, and Shayna's off her feet to win the title. Almost had her. Count of two, 
But unfortunately, the three does not come about. And no waste in motion. You got to commend the challenger tonight. Now it wasted a second of her time. Shayna Baszler so tough, as we just mentioned, as she delivers the soul food to Liv Morgan. And once again, a snap of the fingers changes the trajectory of this matchup. And the submission magician, wait a minute, has got Liv up again, slams her out on the canvas. And that could be a knockout blow to retain the title. Wait a minute, another counter by Liv. Liv Morgan's coming unglued. She's gonna steal the belt here. Oh man, almost had her. Stacking up the champion and somehow a fire is still burning in the heart of Liv Morgan to become the women's champion yet again. Gotta commend the effort of the challenger. But somehow the champion is still fighting. There's a reversal by Shayna. A stiff right hand to change the momentum. And now look at this, ragdolling the challenger a little bit. One gut wrench, but she's not done. Make it a dose. Into the cover. Combination. And a two count there, almost, to retain the championship. And Shayna thought she had her. Caught Liv Morgan with that right hand moments ago. A couple of gut wrenches. Shayna Baszler thought she found the conclusion to this contest, but Liv Morgan still with life left in her. Now Baszler just starting to pick apart the challenger here tonight, just trying to ground her, keep her on the canvas, wrestle her pace of a match. Wait a minute, Liv Morgan, here comes the challenger again, taking Baszler off her feet. You can't keep down Liv Morgan tonight in Columbus, Ohio. Liv Morgan out to prove that her win over Asuka two months ago was not a fluke victory. Liv Morgan out to prove that she can beat Shayna Baszler. Bringing Shayna to her feet, that may have been a mistake here. And a high knee by the champion. Oh no, Shayna Baszler, a little uncharacteristic, heading to the top rope, dropping the elbow. Crushing the heart and possibly the dreams of the challenger. The Liv Morgan kicks out, and how close was that? Shayna Baszler may be starting to feel desperate. Very rare we see Shayna go to the top rope, and we've seen it twice in this contest. The sidestep, Liv was going for some kind of maneuver. Shayna, however, taking out the knee. And that's an easy way to dislocate a knee right there tear an ACL off that kind of shot. Now Baszler just playing with her food right now. Liv Morgan down, but again, there's the Superwoman punch. Liv is in excruciating pain. And I think Shayna Baszler may be closing in on a victory here at the Nationwide Arena. You can't count out the challenger, but Liv Morgan is not looking hot right now. She may have expended herself in this matchup. Oh, and now crushing the arm on the canvas again. And Baszler has worked over those arms several times throughout this match. Oh, wait a minute, Baszler. has got Liv Morgan. Carafuda clutch locked in. Dead center of the ring. And Liv Morgan taps out. Liv taps out. Shayna Baszler retains the WWE Women's Championship. What an amazing effort by Liv Morgan here tonight. Here's your winner. And still, WWE Women's Champion, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. But in the end, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, makes it a three-peat. Raw homecoming, King of the Ring, and Money in the Bank. Wait just a minute! Oh my goodness! Well, look who is in the Nationwide Arena! It's the Empress of Tomorrow! And she's looking more intimidating than ever! Asuka is back! We have not seen the Empress since May the 14th when she was defeated by Liv Morgan. But Asuka has sat back. 
and watch Baszler and Liv tear each other to shreds not once but twice. And it looks like Asuka is coming out here to call her shot against the winner of this championship affair. Asuka looking more intimidating than ever. A swagger about the former champion. The woman who dominated the women's division for upwards of 12 months here in the WWE. One of the most intimidating women of all time. And Asuka is here in the Nationwide Arena. And back inside the squared circle for the first time in over two months. And she is calling her... Oh, wait a minute. But is Shayna Baszler not having none of the disrespect? Asuka was making her entrance here, making her return, and Shayna Baszler tried to ambush Asuka, and Asuka's not having none of it. And things are breaking down here. This is not a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a fight. Shayna not taken well to the interruption after she just retained her women's championship, but Asuka taking care of the champion herself. Well, uh, very unexpected and certainly tumultuous return for the Empress of Tomorrow here at Money in the Bank. And Asuka's, oh, wait a minute, Asuka's making her way up the aisle. But Shayna Baszler's on her tail. Baszler's not done. Watch out from behind. Oh, my goodness. Baszler running up on Asuka. And things are breaking down at the top of the aisle way. One referee ain't gonna do it. We need to get us several out here. We need to clear the locker room to get these two women apart. Shayna Baszler is beaten down on Asuka, the woman who just made her return, not taking any kindly to the disrespect, the interruption after the celebration of the champion. Asuka now, not gonna allow her return to be diminished by the champion. A brawl has ensued here at Nationwide Arena. And the interesting thing here is there's never been any quarrel between these two women. No issue other than the fact of two major egos and a women's championship that I'm sure Asuka is desperately wanting back in her grasp. Things are breaking down. Asuka taking care of Shayna Baszler and taunting why she's doing it. I think Asuka said you want to fight. I'll give you a war. Shayna Baszler might have bite it off more than she can chew. We need to get some help out here before these two women absolutely tear each other apart here in the nationwide arena. Well, things are breaking down. We're not even going to be able to... Are we going to be able to follow this thing? These two women are going by the entrance here, heading towards the backstage area, and they're still throwing live rounds. Shayna Baszler, the women's champion, the returning empress of tomorrow, Asuka. Things are continuing to break down here in Columbus, Ohio at Money in the Bank. All hell is broken loose. We need to get some help. We need to get these two women separated before they absolutely destroy each other tonight. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. Well, what an amazing night it has been here in the beautiful Columbus, Ohio. We are emanating from the Nationwide Arena for the 2023 Money in the Bank live premiere event. Thank you to everybody watching around the world and available on replay afterwards. Thank you for everybody catching the replay as well. But it is time for this beautiful event to continue as it is time to determine the 2023 Men's Money in the Bank contract. Well, three superstars from Raw, three superstars from SmackDown about to enter the squared circle. And if the women's ladder match that kicked off the show told us anything, chaos and anarchy is about to ensue inside the middle of the ring. And entering first, a visionary, a revolutionary, 
Seth freaking Rollins. The fall is the money in the bank ladder match. To win this match, the winner is a superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves a briefcase with a contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, Seth Freakin' Rollins, no stranger to the contract that hangs above the ring tonight. Rollins has held the money in the bank before, and everybody knows the heist of the century at WrestleMania 31, when Seth Rollins cashed in that very briefcase to win his first WWE World Championship. All these years later, will the visionary of World Wrestling Entertainment repeat history and capture the briefcase all over again? Or will it be this man? The human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown. The one, the only, Ricochet! And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Well, you know, Ricochet has had one hell of a year, dating all the way back to last year at SummerSlam, where he kicked off a six-month reign with the Cruiserweight Championship. Of course, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali went on to win the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on WrestleMania Saturday, and then just 24 hours later, won the World Tag Team titles that they held up until last month's King of the Ring event. Mustafa Ali unable to qualify for Money in the Bank. However, the human highlight reel of the blue brand, Ricochet punched his ticket. And could Ricochet keep his momentum going and keep adding to his ever-growing list of accolades by winning the Money in the Bank contract for the very first time? And here comes a man, a former two-time NXT champion who's been looking to make an impact on SmackDown for months and a man looking for another opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship. Danger has arrived at the Nationwide Arena. And from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. We gotta wonder what the psyche of Braun Breaker coming into this matchup is. He's still kind of had his mind focused on the show off Dolph Ziggler who knocked him out of the King of the Ring tournament over a month ago. Ron, of course, was able to bounce back, qualify for Money in the Bank by defeating Mustafa Ali. However, Braun Breaker, this past Friday night on SmackDown, taking the pinfall to the rated R Superstar Edge in that epic eight-man all-star tag team match. So Braun Breaker, a lot of ups and downs over the last few months. Of course, went one-on-one -on -one with the World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre back at Vengeance in May, came up short. Maybe this is the opportunity that propels Braun Breaker to another opportunity at the big gold belt. And speaking of King of the Ring, here's the man who was in the finals last month against SmackDown's Austin, Fe Austin Theory. He may have fell short in the finals, but is Money in the Bank the chance for Nakamura to become the king of Monday Night Raw? And from Kyoto, Japan, Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, Shinsuke Nakamura had a little bit of an assistance when it came to qualifying for the Money in the Bank. You remember a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw, Nakamura went one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens. And of course, we saw the return of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, a man who has made enemies with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And Owens' eye being taken off the ball allowed Nakamura to hit that King Shasa and qualify for Money in the Bank. But take nothing away from the King. As we just mentioned, this is a man who made it all the way to the finals of King of the Ring last month. May have fallen short to Austin Theory, but Nakamura chomping at the bit for a chance to become the WWE Champion. He may not have worn the crown of the King, but he very well could be taking home the briefcase and calling himself Mr. Money in the Bank. But the mood has just changed here in Columbus, Ohio, 
as the Blackheart has arrived. And from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, the Muscle Champa. We want to talk about superstars who have had one hell of a year. Ever since joining the main roster back in the fall, Tommaso Ciampa has had a run with the Intercontinental Championship and also had a run one half of the World Tag Team titles. Unfortunately, he got drafted to SmackDown back in March, and that really took Ciampa's momentum off the train tracks for quite a bit, but recently he's been able to bounce back, getting himself a spot in tonight's ladder match. And you know, it is an all-star field for the men's money in the bank. And what better way to cap it off that are representing Friday Night SmackDown. Representing the original club. The phenomenal AJ Styles. And representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal Well, it was one year ago at this very event that AJ Styles walked in as the WWE Champion. However, ever since last year's SummerSlam, AJ Styles has been doing all he can to get back in the main event, become either WWE or, in this case, World Heavyweight Champion yet again. Styles now being a part of Friday Night SmackDown and the big gold belt could be on his horizons. But tonight is an opportunity for AJ Styles to take down the briefcase and then look towards both champions on Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. AJ Styles, Braun Breaker, Ricochet representing the blue brand, Tommaso Ciampa, Shinsuke Nakamura, Seth freaking Rollins representing Monday Night Raw. The bell has sounded and we are underway with the six man fray in this ladder matchup. Earlier tonight, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley taking down the women's Money in the Bank contract. Who is gonna do so for the men here tonight? See, immediately as the bell rings, really brawls start to break out as everybody looks for the early advantage. Meanwhile, Ricochet, the first man to grab a hold of the ladder while everybody else on the outside of the squared circle. And Ricochet looking to steal this thing early. A Braun Breaker on his tail, Seth Rollins on his tail. Things are already going for the kill in this matchup, if you will. Now everybody back inside the ring, not looking to allow a winner and chip on grabbing Rollins and down goes Ricochet as well. The dangers of the money in the bank being showcased within the first couple seconds of this matchup. Ricochet was going for the briefcase and boy did he eat it. Only one man's gonna take down that briefcase. All remains to be seen who's gonna get a future opportunity anytime that he plays for up to one year. Ricochet defeating Robert Roode to earn his opportunity tonight. AJ Styles defeating Omas. Seth Rollins defeating the almighty Bobby Lashley. Tommaso Ciampa with a win over Solo Sokoa. Nakamura defeating Kevin Owens as we discussed, and Braun Breaker with the win over Mustafa Ali. Three men on the outside, three men on the inside as AJ Styles and Rollins going at it. A one-on-one -on -one match we have not seen in quite some time. Would love to see it somewhere down the line between that Raw and SmackDown superstars. Nakamura makes his way back inside the squared circle. Rollins, a former world champion, as well as AJ Styles. And several former NXT champions in that ring as well. Every man inside the squared circle and out knows what it's like to hold championship gold. But who's going to take down that briefcase? Ricochet sending Nakamura over the top rope, and Styles and Rollins having a pier six brawl on the other side of the ring, but Ricochet is really ruling the squared circle right now. And here he comes again with the tilt to whirl. And Rollins follows it up with a swing blade. Meanwhile, Nakamura and Ciampa going at it. Two of the Monday Night Raw superstars in the outskirts. And Braun Breaker getting involved as well. And you see inside the ring, so much action to call here. Ricochet doing what he does best. Ricochet keeps this dominance of the squared circle up that we have seen since the opening bell. An underdog in this matchup, if you want to say, very well may be leaving with the briefcase. Beautiful half Nelson on Nakamura moments ago. Now Styles trying to ground the high flyer. 
Meanwhile, Seth Rollins put that ladder in the ring. Braun Breaker looked like he was trying to introduce a kendo stick, and Rollins just having none of it. Chip button Breaker. We've had some battles in the past at NXT. Going out of that ringside here. Ricochet takes down Styles, Nakamura on Seth Rollins' tail. And of course, remember this past Monday Night on Raw, Rollins and Nakamura one-on-one -on -one in that King of the Ring semi-final rematch. Nakamura, Nakamura picked up the victory five weeks ago at King of the Ring. Rollins, not only off one curb stomp, but off an avalanche curb stomp, off the middle buckle, was able to defeat Shinsuke Nakamura this past Monday Night on Raw. Also champ in. Rollins taking care of Nakamura, at least for a moment, and Rollins with a super kick turned around the world, and down goes the one and only. It seems the tides have shifted. It went from Ricochet ruling the ring to now Seth Rollins ruling it as Styles just gets thrown right to those ladders, and Rollins gonna meet him there. Never know where those ladders are gonna fall. You might end up having a crash landing on the steel unexpectedly in this match. It's only gonna make matters worse. AJ Styles, wait a minute, look inside the squared circle. Down goes Braun Breaker, and I believe he hit the ladder on the way down that Nakamura introduced. Got the wild coyote camp for this, trying to keep up with all the action. Do the best we can here. Nakamura with a neck breaker of his own on Styles. And Ricochet takes out Chip on the outside. And you know, we said this was an all-star lineup of superstars, and these guys performing like a couple of all-stars. Nakamura set up the ladder, but it looks like Seth Rollins trying to take advantage here. Nakamura takes out Breaker, but somebody better save the day before Rollins takes down the money in the bank. Oh, wait a minute. It's Ricochet off the swinging neck breaker from the top of the ladder. The human highlight reel showcasing that nickname to its fullest extent. Off the ladder, down to the ground, and now Ricochet is climbing the rugs. But he's got two men on his tail, Nakamura and Ciampa. Oh, now, oh man, both men. That ladder coming together underneath of him, and Ciampa and Ricochet eating the canvas. Tommaso Ciampa not allowing Seth Rollins to regain any sort of consciousness in this contest. Money in the banks are not for the weak in heart. So many moving parts. The ladder's in play. Violence clearly ensuing before our very eyes. So reason Rhea Ripley walked away the victor earlier tonight. And it was simply she was the best woman, the toughest woman. But who is going to be the best man, the toughest man? Who's going to have the endurance to outlast the others in this contest? That's Rollins and Champa left inside the squared circle. Oh, wait a minute, Rollins will take care of his Monday Night Raw brethren with a pedigree inside of the canvas. And Tommaso Champa being laid to waste by the visionary. So many moving parts again, as we mentioned, inside of the ring. Rollins not able to capitalize and try to climb the ladder as Nakamura entered the fray. Now, Braun Breaker and Ricochet colliding steel chairs at ringside. But only one man's left standing, and that's that young, hungry, blue chipper, Braun Breaker. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Champa, Champa. Electric chair by Nakamura. How do you keep up with the action? You know, basically, home run derby here tonight as Rollins is now swinging for the fences. AJ Styles gonna lay it out on that ladder by way of the visionary. Braun Breaker, however, coming behind Seth freaking Rollins trying to take out a man who was ruling the ring the last few minutes. Somehow Rollins is still standing after that swinging neck breaker followed up by that on the canvas maneuver by Tommaso Ciampa. Breaker down and out, Seth Rollins still working over the young man from SmackDown. Well, Breaker, we've talked about a lot of potential. Just got to get his head on straight, get some more reps inside of the squared circle, and his day is going to come, but his day may come tonight. OJ Styles and Seth Rollins got other plans. Swing blade on Braun Breaker. 
One for AJ Styles as well. And two men laid out inside the ring, while three are on the outside. Rollins grabbing a hold of the briefcase. Nakamura ricochet on his tail. But Seth Rollins has got it. Several men left standing in the ring, but only one man was fast enough to run to the finish line. You know, these Money in the Bank matches, they aren't long contests. They are Iron Man affairs. They're simply who's the last man standing, and Rollins made it to the finish line first, had the endurance to climb the ladder, and he has taken down the briefcase here tonight in Columbus. Here is your winner, and Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Well, a very interesting turn of events. The visionary of Monday Night Raw has secured himself a future championship opportunity, the new Mr. Money in the Bank. Well, coming up next here, Karrion Cross looking to bring Doomsday upon Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign. Tensions rising high between these two men on Monday Night Raw. Something's gotta give. Who's leaving Columbus? WWE Champion. In the realm of WWE, there exists a champion who has defined all odds. Since capturing the WWE Championship at WrestleMania, Matt Riddle has stood tall against every challenger who has dared to step into the ring. Month after month, Riddle has persevered his fighting spirit unwavering, but his time beginning to catch up with the champion. Enter Carrying Cross, a force of destruction on a quest to claim his rightful place among the gods of this industry. With a hunger that knows no bounds, Cross is a man with nothing to lose and everything to gain. A man who promises to bring doomsday upon Matt Riddle's reign as WWE Champion. Carrying Cross, a destroyer of legends has left a trail of broken bodies in his wake. From Rob Van Dam to Bobby Lashley, even the mighty John Cena has fallen victim to the fury of the Harbinger of Doom. Now, he sets his sights on marching forward, intent on devouring Riddle and claiming the ultimate prize, the WWE Championship. Tensions have reached a boiling point between a challenger hell-bent on controlled chaos and a champion laser focused on defending his top spot. The stage is set for a violent adventure. Karrion Cross seeks to bring Matt Riddle to his ultimate demise to tear down the reign of the champion and establish himself as the new face of Monday Night Raw. But Riddle, the embodiment of resilience and determination, will not back down to intimidation. Will Karrion Cross? fulfill his prophecy and ascend to the pinnacle of the WWE? Or will Matt Riddle continue to overcome the odds, proving why he is amongst the best walking the earth today? For on this fateful night, the fight between good and evil will commence. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It is time for the Monday Night Raw main event of the evening. And the richest prize in our industry, the WWE Championship, is on the line. And a very eerie presence has come over the nationwide arena as the Wicked Witch Scarlet, along with the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, begin to enter the battlefield. Rob Van Dam, Sheamus, Tommaso Ciampa, Bobby Lashley, John Cena, just some of the names 
that Karrion Cross has laid to rest in recent months on Monday Night Raw. If there was ever a more fitting, deserving challenger, whether you like his attitude or not, you can't look any farther than Karrion Cross. He earned his way to fight Matt Riddle for the WWE Championship. And although there is something sick and twisted about Scarlett and Cross, you cannot deny the results that Karrion has produced from bell to bell. If these two have their way, the results, the results may spell a championship victory for the Harbinger of Doom here tonight. This is a man who is a former two-time NXT champion. A man with very few blemishes on the record here in WWE. But will Karrion Cross truly bring Doomsday upon Matt Riddle's WWE Championship reign? Is time truly up for the original bro? Those are the questions at stake and the questions we are about to see our answers to right before our eyes. Money in the Bank has been a chaotic evening to say the least and certainly an unpredictable one at that. But as we turn our focus to the main events of the evening, Monday Night Raw kicks us off with the WWE Championship on the line. A very high blood pressure battle. The challenger looks focused, but you can never look past the calm, cool, and collected original bro, the stallion, the face of Monday Night Raw, Matt Riddle. You want to talk about somebody who has turned away any and all challengers since winning the gold on WrestleMania Sunday. He has retained the championship over Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Riddle has been to hell and back, it is well documented, but is carrying Cross the man who has finally figured out the puzzle that is the original bro. The winner of the 2023 Royal Rumble match has been riding a high all year long, but is the luck of the Stallion about to run out tonight at Money in the Bank. The WWE Championship is on the line. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, Weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. High stakes, high reward here at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. Will Matt Riddle walk away holding that gold? Or is he handing it over for the very last time? And is Karrion Cross about to bring the doom and gloom to the main event of Monday Night Raw? It is a very tension-filled evening, especially in this matchup. As the brawls have ensued left and right between Riddle and Cross as of late on Raw. But it is time for the results. Karrion Cross and Matt Riddle meet one-on-one -on -one here at Money in the Bank. And Karrion Cross not wasting any time, looking to pounce on the WWE Champion and pick apart a man he knows is as tough as nails. Things really took a turning point in the lead up to this match when Karrion Cross turned the lights off on Matt Riddle only to emerge inside of the ring and choke slam the champion dead center of the canvas. Matt Riddle, of course, not taking very kindly. We saw Riddle appear this past Monday Night on Raw after Cross had tapped out Tommaso Ciampa, Matt Riddle using that kendo stick, shattering on the bones of Karrion Cross, but unfortunately that wasn't the end of it. As these two met back up, who started the situation remains to be heard, but a brawl ensued in the backstage area, and Karrion Cross 
doing something he has done for the likes of Bobby Lashley as well, putting Matt Riddle through the wood of a table and crashing him on the concrete. Gotta wonder the condition of Matt Riddle and even Karrion Cross coming into this matchup after the carnage that took place just a few nights ago on Monday Night Raw. But nonetheless, the matchup ensues and the WWE Championship is on the line. And so far, it has been all Karrion Cross. Gotta wonder if Matt Riddle is in for the fight of his life tonight. As we mentioned, a man with very few blemishes on his record is Karrion Cross. But Matt Riddle's been on the ride of a lifetime this year. And will it continue tonight? If Riddle can surpass Randy Orton at WrestleMania, then again inside Hell in the Cell. Wait a minute, going for the quick cover. Trying to defeat Cross early, not just yet. If Riddle can do all that, outlast the Kevin and Sammy show, and defeat the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, who's to say he can't keep down the doomsday of Karrion Cross? All remains to be seen in due time, and Riddle, beautiful spine buster, taking Cross off his feet. Karrion is a guy who's been searching for this kind of opportunity for quite some time. Championship opportunities don't come around too often, which is what makes Money in the Bank such a high-stakes night. And Cross trying to make the most of it. But right now, Matt Riddle looking for the pinfall. Got the two. You got to believe it's going to take more to keep the Harbinger of Doom down for good. Karrion Cross, by hook or by crook, was able to survive Bobby Lashley at Raw Homecoming last month. And of course, with the help of Scarlett, was able to defeat the franchise, John Cena, to become the number one contender for tonight's festivities. And I wonder if Scarlett is gonna be the X Factor in aiding Karrion Cross to becoming the WWE Champion tonight. All remains to be seen. But on the outside, Karrion Cross scaling the top rope and dropping the cross hammer. Riddle goes down. Karrion Cross is looking to brutalize the WWE Champion in his own methodical way here tonight. Not looking to put on a show for the Nationwide Arena. Cross wants to do things his way. Off the high knee, almost had Riddle. Only a two count there. The original bro survives at least for a moment. Now here's Riddle trying to withstand the war path. Nice reversal there by the Champion and down goes Cross. Riddle's got a stick and move in this contest, or Karrion Cross will take advantage. Cross is so vindictive inside of that ring. As we mentioned, a very slow, methodical pace comes your way in a Karrion Cross matchup when he's in control. He'll beat you down, he'll pick you apart, he'll throw you around the ring like a rag doll until he says it's time to wrap things up. Karrion Cross operates on his own time. And Matt Riddle's finding that out firsthand. Riddle avoiding whatever Cross had in mind, but not able to capitalize. Gut wrench, power bomb, and the WWE Champion is not looking so hot in the Monday Night Raw half of the main event tonight. Matt Riddle's got to get it going. We're only a few minutes into this matchup, but the longer this onslaught pursuits by carrying Cross. You gotta believe Cross is gonna be one step closer to becoming WWE Champion. You can never count out the bro. We already discussed it. It's been well documented everything Riddle's been through over the last couple of months. Hell, everything Riddle's been through over the last year and change in WWE. An emotional struggle. All the, all the highs, all the lows, the triumphs of WrestleMania and the Royal Rumble. To being the man, to being the WWE Champion. But Karrion Cross is looking to turn the clock. Tell Matt Riddle time is up and into the bridge. And he almost had him there. One second away from becoming a new WWE Champion. It's our fourth championship match of the evening. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a second. Karrion Cross dropped Matt Riddle head first off that DDT. And I believe Matt Riddle may be busted wide open. But maybe that's the best thing that could have happened to Riddles. He's fired up now and a big time power bomb by the champion into the cover. And only a one count there. And oh yeah, Matt Riddle busted wide open. I don't know if that's over the eye or near the temple, but the champion 
is rocking a crimson mask and has got a target on his head that if Karrion Cross notices, quite frankly, Riddle is going to be more, more trouble. It may have lit some adrenaline under the soul of the WWE Champion right now, but Karrion Cross, if he has his way and he's able to really pick apart Riddle some more, open up that wound, it's only going to spell disaster for the WWE Champion. If you're bleeding, it's certainly going to make you a little bit more tired, exhaust you that much more, and Matt Riddle can really not afford to not be able to go the distance in this matchup. He has got a target on his head right now by way of a mean pursuit of the number one contender. Oh, Karrion Cross, just bare elbows and beating down on the champion, just trying to open up the wound of Matt Riddle. Oh my goodness, look at this, Karrion Cross, like a shark that smells infested waters. He's just seizing the WWE Champion right now. Matt Riddle is almost helpless as Karrion Cross drags around the body of the WWE Champion, who is absolutely worse for wear. Tonight may be the night. Tonight may be it. The expiration date. And what has been a great reign as WWE Champion for Matt Riddle. He's got a target on his head and Karrion Cross, like it or not, I'm just presenting the facts, has controlled the majority of this matchup. Matt Riddle kicks out, but it may have just been off instinct. Can he run off some adrenaline and get back into this match? Or is Cross too much for the bro to handle tonight? Overhead throw. And I do not like Matt Riddle's chances right about now. As Karrion Cross picking the ankle of the champion and going for an ankle lock. Not watching the ring awareness. It's a rookie mistake out of the number one contender, but rest assured, Karrion Cross not going to waste any time thinking upon that mistake. He's just going to get right back on the offense as we see right there. You notice Karrion Cross sees Matt Riddle rolling to the outside, trying to catch a breather. Going to go right after him. Not looking to give Riddle any room for breather. Matt Riddle's going to start swinging as we're seeing right now. Just trying to create some distance. Hit and move over the number one contender. Wait a minute. Into the barricade. We already saw one of them explode earlier during that battle between Ilya Dragunov and LA Knight. Could see another one in Riddle and carrying Cross's war path tonight. Riddle back inside the squared circle. And now a daze carrying Cross on the outside meets a flying bro. Dropping the axe hammer, the forearm to the back of carrying Cross. Nothing pretty, but certainly effective and into the ring post. Matt Riddle knows he's got to kick things into high gear now or never. Riddle on the apron, and looking to throw caution in the wind, and luckily for the bro, it works out for him. The WWE Champion finally starting to build some momentum in the Monday Night Raw main event here at Money in the Bank. Cross down and out, Matt Riddle on his tail. Springboard, nice kick, and into the cover to retain the WWE Championship, not just yet as Karrion Cross survives. Harry and Cross getting to his, oh wait a minute. Cross getting to his feet and Scarlet mouth it off to Matt Riddle. Wait a minute, Cross jacket locked in. Scarlet might have just crossed. Riddle the WWE title, the submission hold. The referee's gotta make sure that doesn't turn into a choke. That arm looks like it's right under the chin of the WWE champion right now, but Matt Riddle's still fighting. Oh, what a close call that was. Oh, wait a minute, Riddle. Bro Derek and send it home. The WWE Champion to retain. No. Matt Riddle saw his championship flash before his eyes moments ago when he was locked inside the cross jacket and decided to go for the kill. Unfortunately, the Bro Derek does not work out. But now on the top rope, send it carry across for a ride. German suplex from the top, sends Cross to the other side of the squared circle. I'm losing my voice, this matchup is absolutely coming unhinged. This night has been incredible here in Columbus, Ohio. 
And that Wicked Witch Scarlet on the apron trying to take Riddle's eye off the ball, but the champion is locked. He is laser focused on retaining his title. Oh, look at this, Riddle coming unglued. Down goes the challenger. Matt Riddle's wearing war paint at all. And I was about to say, it might be fueling him in victory. Doomsday Saito! That may do it. Riddle's out. Oh, wait a minute, never mind. Cross elected not to go for the cover, and it may have cost him, because now Riddle's going behind. And now it's Matt Riddle locking in the submission hold. He's got Karrion Cross locked. Karrion Cross on the verge of tapping out. Riddle's wrapping up the leg, trying to get underneath the chin. I don't know if Riddle's got all of this right now, but whatever strength the bros got left, especially after that blood's flowing for the forehead, using it all to his advantage, unfortunately, Karrion Cross breaking the hold. Oh, now again, Scarlet, again! And now a cross jacket locked in by Karrion Cross. Submission for submission, an eye for an eye. Matt Riddle's gonna tap. We're gonna have a new WWE Champion. Scarlett's gonna cost the bro the championship. And Cross has got that in locked tight. Matt Riddle able to break out of it. Well, how much more does this man still have left in the tank? Wait a minute, pinfall here. Back and forth, the pendulum momentum swings. Man, how many occasions did we almost have a decision right there? The business is picking up in the Monday Night Raw main event. And a close call. This matchup has turned to an unpredictable ending. First, it looks like Cross is going to win. Then Matt Riddle's got him. Then Cross comes back. Then Riddle comes back. And now Karrion Cross is on top of this contest again. Quite frankly, I don't know how Matt Riddle is still swinging in this matchup. He's got a target on his head the size of Eagles right now. And Karrion Cross is laser focused on absolutely obliterating the WWE Champion and taking away the gold that he has worked so hard to achieve. Matt Riddle's got to get back into this. Cross going for a bear hug. Riddle able to break the hold. A lot of submissions here tonight. With the riddle off, down goes the challenger, goes for the elbow, nobody home, and a kick sends Cross off his feet. Sent on by Riddle. Make it a dose. Well, the bro Derek didn't do it. The submission hold didn't do it. What is Riddle gonna have to do? What is he gonna have to throw at the challenger to keep him down tonight? Maybe another kick, another knockout blow. Here comes Riddle again, just tackling down Cross. The champion is fired up, and Columbus, Ohio coming unglued for the face of Monday Night Raw. Oh, but wait a minute. This is what this is what Riddle could not afford right now. His focus to be taken off the ball by way of that wicked witch of the West Scarlet. Luckily, Riddle getting back into this contest. On the middle buckle, cross on spaghetti legs and a flying knee. Matt Riddle may have the challenger. This could be all she wrote, but Riddle's got to capitalize on the cover right now. Maybe the smartest thing Riddle can do at the same accord to just keep beating down Cross. Oh, went for the senton. Carrying Cross rolling out of harm's way, quite frankly, by adrenaline. Cross is still down on the outside. Wait a minute, Riddle's heading to the top. Floating bro to the outside of the ring. Karrion Cross may have a broken rib and Matt Riddle is coming unglued. A flying stallion floating bro through the air and Karrion Cross is absolutely gasping for breath. Riddle heading back to the top, dropping the senton. Is that gonna do it? Riddle under the cover. And Matt Riddle retains the WWE Championship. Well, Riddle had to get creative tonight. The bro Derek wasn't enough. The submission holds weren't enough. The knockout blows weren't enough. Riddle had to take it to the air, crush the windpipe of Karrion Cross, 
and knock the breath out of him long enough to secure a three count and retain the WWE Championship. Here is your winner and still the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Well, you know, we said tonight has been chaotic, but it has certainly been full of amazing battles. And the better men and women are coming out on the other side. Matt Riddle was the better man tonight, surviving everything that the Harbinger of Doom had to offer. And through all the blood that is flowing through the face of Matt Riddle, he survives again. And the Stallion is leaving the Nationwide Arena still on top of Raw as WWE Champion. Well, coming up next, it is the Friday Night SmackDown main event. Randy Orton, Edge, and the champion Drew McIntyre. It's a triple threat affair with the World Heavyweight Championship riding on the line. In this industry, there are moments that define errors and matches that capture the imagination of the WWE Universe. Now, on the precipice of destiny, we bear witness to a collision of three titans, each with their eyes set on one ultimate prize. At Money in the Bank, Edge, Randy Orton, and the reigning World Heavyweight Champion Drew McIntyre take center stage. Drew McIntyre, a champion waving the flag of Friday Night SmackDown, has forged his legacy with an iron resolve. From his clash with Seth Rollins, his triumph over John Cena, and more, McIntyre has forced all who stood before him to step aside. As the days continue to add up in his legendary reign, he solidifies his place amongst the greats. But now, at Money in the Bank, McIntyre faces his greatest challenge yet. Randy Orton, a man with whom he has waged war with over the years, slithers back into the main event scene, still basking in the memory of a dominating reign as WWE Champion on Raw. Orton brings his cold and ruthless nature to SmackDown, seeking to leave both Edge and McIntyre laying with the three most destructive letters in sports entertainment, the R-K-O. And as for Edge, the ultimate opportunist, found a way to join the fray with victories over Austin Theory and even Randy Orton himself. Edge stands on the cusp of yet another opportunity to capture the coveted World Heavyweight Championship, a title he has held many a time throughout his illustrious career. Three All-Stars collide for one grand prize, each driven by their relentless desire to claim victory. As these persistent competitors step into the ring, the outcome is impossible to predict. What we do know is that the winner of this match will already have their ticket booked to defend the gold against the King of the Ring winner, Austin Theory, next month at SummerSlam. Edge, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, and the World Heavyweight Championship take center stage in the main event at Money in the Bank. Who will emerge victorious? Who will etch their name in the annals of greatness? The answers lie within the squared circle where the fate of the World Heavyweight Championship hangs in the balance. It is main event time for the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio at the 2023 Money in the Bank. The following contest is a triple threat match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton slithered like the Viper he is into a World Heavyweight Championship match here tonight. When Drew McIntyre was least expecting it, when his back was turned, he was ambushed by Randy Orton, who used McIntyre's own world championship against the skull of the Scottish warrior, calling his shot. 
throwing down the gauntlet and establishing himself as a challenger for the World Heavyweight title. Unfortunately for Randy Orton, his one-on-one -on -one matchup becoming a triple threat affair when the Rated R Superstar Edge pinned Austin Theory and then pinned Randy Orton a week later on SmackDown, making this a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight title. Randy Orton, of course, can't be happy about that decision, but is not going to pass up the opportunity to win championship gold yet again. This is a man who dominated Monday Night Raw for upwards of half a year as the WWE Champion from November at Survivor Series to the end of February at WrestleMania. Could Randy Orton be nearing another win, nearing another top spot in the main event as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Or could it be the ultimate opportunist? We're at our superstar! Looking to secure another World Championship reign in his already Hall of Fame career. He may have fallen short at King of the Ring, but Edge knows money in the bank very well. And the ultimate opportunist looking to seize the day. And introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds. It was one year ago at Money in the Bank when Edge took down the briefcase and cashed it in a month later successfully to become the WWE Champion. Who did Edge end up losing that championship to? Well, that is the man who awaits the winner of this at SummerSlam, Austin Theory. Of course, Edge would win back the WWE title only to fall to Randy Orton at Survivor Series just a month later. Edge and Randy Orton Two very formidable challengers. But this man has been on top of the mountain of Friday Night SmackDown as the World Heavyweight Champion ever since WrestleMania Saturday. And quite frankly, Drew McIntyre has been on top of the blue brand for all of 2023. But will it be Edge or Randy Orton derailing the Scottish Warrior and taking away the big gold belt here tonight. And introducing the champion from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has been on top of the world, but is his momentum about to come to a screeching halt tonight in Columbus as Friday Night SmackDown takes center stage in the main event of Money in the Bank. It is a triple threat affair. No count outs, no disqualifications. One fall to a finish for that beautiful big gold World Heavyweight Championship. Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, and Edge himself have fallen in championship defenses of Drew McIntyre. But Edge with another opportunity. Randy Orton, a man who knows McIntyre very well. The stage is set for this ultimate collision. Chaos has been the word of the evening, and I think some more is about to ensue before our very eyes. That is the gold that is at stake. Hoisted high in the sky. Randy Orton, Edge, and Drew McIntyre. For the World Heavyweight title, the bell has sounded and your main event in Columbus is underway. Edge and Randy Orton with so much history with each other that has been reignited over the last number of weeks. And Drew McIntyre looking to turn away possibly his biggest challenge yet tonight. You see right there a perfect example of why this triple threat is going to be so dangerous to Drew McIntyre's World Heavyweight Championship reign. Back turned at least for a moment to focus on Edge and Randy Orton struck. And you gotta wonder, as you just saw right there, almost some unintentional teamwork between Edge and Randy Orton. And even though the battle continues between those two men, you gotta wonder if the pairing of Edge and Orton, formerly known as Rated RKO, 
is going to reignite in a sense tonight and try to take out the champion. Of course, there's a lot of bad blood between Edge and Randy Orton over the years, dating recently, most recently back to November at Survivor Series when they fought inside Hell in the Cell. And then as we mentioned just two weeks ago on SmackDown, Edge defeating Randy Orton in singles action. Oh, remains to be seen how this main event is gonna play out, but certainly a big fight feel. And it's moments like this when there's a superstar on the outside of the ring where the superstars inside of the ring may wanna try to take advantage. Speaking of taking advantage, Randy Orton knows this matchup is being contested under no disqualifications, and Edge with his back turn gets met with a steel chair. Anything goes in a triple threat match for the world title. But Edge's not gonna take that one lying down. And again, some more dangers of the triple threat. So hard to secure even a one count in this match when there's another pair of legs moving. But have eyes in the back of your head. Gotta watch your back to the best of your abilities in a matchup like this. And McIntyre, the biggest situation for Drew tonight is that this historic reign, this dominating run at the top of SmackDown for Drew McIntyre as the World Heavyweight Champion could come to a close without him even having to be involved in the decision. Edge could pin Randy Orton, Randy Orton could pin Edge, and Drew McIntyre loses the World Heavyweight Championship. Those are the dangers of this triple threat matchup tonight. Randy Orton and Edge using that steel chair certainly as a prop in this contest. But Drew McIntyre showing that he's only focused on using the left and the right to try to defeat the Rated R Superstar. And McIntyre showcasing his strength right there. Edge and McIntyre, of course, fought just five weeks ago at the King of the Ring, where McIntyre retained the World Championship over Edge. Randy Orton and McIntyre, no strangers to each other either. Just a few years ago, had several wars over the WWE Championship. Now all three of these pass crossing for the most prestigious prize on Friday nights yet again tonight. McIntyre taking out Orton from behind. Wait a minute, the Rated R Superstar. Look at the power of Edge to muscle up. What is that, the 285 pounder in Drew McIntyre? My goodness. Edge showcasing his strength right there, any means necessary, digging down deep to win the world title tonight. Now Randy Orton again using that chair over the skull of the Rated R Superstar. And now McIntyre's got a hold of steel. McIntyre with a steel chair in hand, that may be the most dangerous you can possibly get. And now he's got it in position, and McIntyre, look at the strength out of the champion. Down goes Randy Orton, and he caught some of the chair on the way. And Edge back inside the ring. And now Randy Orton back to his feet. And the momentum is constantly going to be played hot potato in a sense in this matchup, because nobody's going to be able to stay on top. Edge down, look at that, just for a moment, and then we're back to a triple threat. That is what makes a triple threat match so diffi difficult to win. Randy Orton taking out the champion. Now focusing on the Rated R Superstar. Edge is always up for a battle against Randy Orton, the man who has done him very wrong over the years. Especially the man who took away the WWE Championship all the way back in November at Survivor Series. Edge got a measure of revenge finally for the last few weeks on SmackDown. But what more satisfying way to stick it to Randy Orton than to win the World Heavyweight Championship tonight? I believe, wait a minute. I believe Drew McIntyre may have been busted open on that headbutt by Edge, and that is not gonna go well for the Scottish Warrior. We saw Matt Riddle overcome the odds moments ago, rocking the Crimson Mask and still able to survive carrying Cross's WWE Championship pursuit. It is Drew McIntyre with even higher stakes in this match with not one but two challengers gonna be able to outlast the target that is on his head right now. Meanwhile, McIntyre going after Orton all the while. Edge is bringing in more destruction into this match with those steel steps. And Edge comes from behind. Three-way at its finest. McIntyre didn't even see it coming. 
Randy Orton and Edge really focused on each other throughout this matchup. The personal vendetta will never be settled between the Viper and the Raider or Superstar. Drew McIntyre back inside the fray. And Randy Orton counters it out and buckles the knee of the World Heavyweight Champion. Now again, Edge and Orton focusing on McIntyre and down goes the champion. They know what they are up against tonight. And a man who has turned away some of the best over the last few months in Drew McIntyre. A man who outlasted five other superstars earlier this year inside Elimination Chamber. Randy Orton throwing some live rounds against the World Heavyweight Champion. Remember, this was originally supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one affair between Orton and McIntyre before Edge got involved. Oh my goodness! Canadian Destroyer by Edge to Randy Orton to win the title, not just yet. How close was that? Edge pulling out all the stops, any means necessary to become the World Heavyweight Champion. And he takes down the champion himself and now into a cover. To win the title, Randy Orton breaking things up. And tensions riding a high in this match. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton looking to strike while the iron's hot. The elevated DDT off the middle rope. Drew McIntyre in. Dropping the headbutt on the Viper. And the tolls of war starting to be paid. Give me a kiss, a Glasgow kiss to Randy Orton. But Edge breaks it up. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is Edge also trickling some blood over the, the forehead? I'm not sure when that happened. It might have been off the DDT. It might have been earlier. But Edge is also showcasing some signs of war tonight. It shows you the measures that these three men are willing to go to to leave as the World Heavyweight Champion. Randy Orton to the outside, Edge on his tail. McIntyre left the sole superstar inside of the ring. Wait a, wait a minute, Edge has got another steel chair. Looking to use it against Orton, but Orton having none of it. And things breaking down on the outside of the ring, and Randy Orton sending Edge for a ride. Man, we're not going to have a voice the time we get to Cleveland, Ohio for Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. There's Randy Orton back inside of the ring, and down goes Drew. And Edge from behind. It's a testament to the toughness of these three superstars as they're still standing in this contest as Orton muscles up Edge, but there's a counter and plants him with the DDT. Now McIntyre in, and Edge could be going for a Canadian Destroyer this time on Drew McIntyre. Folded him up like an accordion. And went to attack the Viper, but Randy Orton had it scouted. And the Apex Predator, RKO, to win the title. Oh, and McIntyre breaking things up. How close was that? How close to a new World Heavyweight Champion? Randy Orton, a second away from becoming the champion without even having to pin Drew McIntyre. Luckily, Drew saving his own title. Orton with the RKO on Edge was about to spell the end of this matchup. But now Edge back to his feet. McIntyre's down. Orton's down. And I hate to keep repeating myself, but it's the word of the night. Chaos continuing to pursue in this match. And McIntyre takes it to the sky. Randy Orton down and out on the outside, and Drew McIntyre, that fire-breathing dragon, is fired up. Cleared off the announce table. Double knob and knocker by Randy Orton. Not going to allow a double team out of Drew and Edge. Randy Orton trying to eliminate the opponents one by a piece tonight. McIntyre up against the barricade, and Randy Orton Muscling up, Edge and a buckle, or excuse me, an apron bomb, and sent him into the side as well. Man, how are these men gonna survive in this matchup as McIntyre lays out Orr with a spine buster? Again, it just shows you the toughness of these three superstars. The will to succeed, the will to be World Heavyweight Champion, and on top of Friday Night SmackDown. 
This has been a war of all wars, and McIntyre continuing this onslaught on Randy Orton. Meanwhile, Edge joining the fray. Some unintentional rated RKO action at ringside. Don't expect that to last too long as Randy Orton still working over Drew McIntyre now turns his sights to the rated R superstar. Gotta wonder what is it gonna take to keep one of these men down for a three count after the war we are witnessing here tonight at the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio. McIntyre just squashed an edge in the corner. Wait a minute, Orton down on the outside. McIntyre's got an opportunity to strike, heading to the top and dropping the elbow on edge. Drew McIntyre's got to capitalize. Edge is weary. And Drew dropping him with the shoulder. Randy Orton back into the ring. We're going to sneak up on McIntyre like the snake he is. You see McIntyre, Randy Orton with those simple yet effective face scrapes to the nose to the bloody forehead of Drew. It's absolutely just taking any bit of life left out of the world heavyweight champion. Again, just a closed fist. Edge back inside the squared circle. The Rated R Superstar catching Randy Orton with a scoop and a slam. McIntyre with a swinging neck breaker. The world champion, the only man standing, at least for a moment. Oh, wait a minute. RKO to Drew McIntyre to win the world title. No, McIntyre kicks out and edges back to his feet. But Randy Orton looking to strike. McIntyre's down. The RKO takes out the champion. The DDT takes out the other challenger. But McIntyre takes out Orton. You have gotta be kidding me. How close to a new world heavyweight champion could you possibly get? Now Edge to his feet, barely. McIntyre assuring Edge is gonna stay lying down on the canvas. And the world heavyweight champion trying his best to get back in but his challengers are giving him a run for his money that I don't know if he was prepared for tonight. Somehow these three men are still fighting. McIntyre, nice counter on Randy. Oh, but Edge comes from behind and drops the world champion on the back of his neck. Randy Orton's days. McIntyre on the outside. Spear! A spear by Edge! And Edge used the same move to beat Randy Orton two weeks ago on SmackDown, but Randy Orton kicks out tonight. A close call for the Rated R Superstar. And you know, as we just mentioned, Edge pinned Randy Orton two weeks ago. Three weeks ago, he pinned Austin Theory. And just 48 hours ago, Edge, with the same spear, pinned Braun Breaker. A lot of momentum for the Rated R Superstar coming into this matchup tonight. Randy with not one but two RKO's and we're still fighting. Edge with the spear on Orton and the matchup progresses. These guys are throwing their best shots, yet we have yet to hear a bell. Edge laying out Orton, but Drew's gonna come from behind and down goes Edge. And remember what lies in wait for these superstars. Whoever leaves Columbus tonight as world heavyweight champion is going right to the SmackDown main event in Levi Stadium, San Francisco, California on Sunday night, August the 20th at SummerSlam to defend the title against the 2023 King of the Ring winner, All Day Austin Theory. Theory's got to be chomping at the bit just as we are to see who's going to be making their way to Levi Stadium next month to meet him for the title. McIntyre's a bloody mess down on the canvas. And Edge coming from the top. But there's a cold-hearted son of a bitch in Randy Orton awaiting Edge who drops him with a simple yet effective neck breaker. This is where Randy Orton's got to take advantage. The world champion stirring on the outside. Randy Orton continuing the onslaught on Edge. Oh, wait a minute, McIntyre's got himself a steel chair right now. McIntyre's got himself a chair. Wait a minute, Randy Orton, a punt kick to Edge. And McIntyre using the chair to break up the pinfall. 
Orton get rid of the chair. Claymore! Out of nowhere! Chaos, disorder, and a Claymore, and that'll do it! My God, what a main event! And after a hellacious war, Drew McIntyre stands atop the world and is still the world heavyweight champion. What a battle here tonight. Here is your winner and still world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre is among the best of the best. The Scottish Warrior on top of the world. And this fire-breathing son of a bitch outlast a war of all wars, leaving the nationwide arena still the face of Friday nights and your world heavyweight champion. I don't know if Austin Theory is ready for what is coming to him full steam ahead on Sunday night, August the 20th at SummerSlam. But as for tonight, July the 16th, 2023, the reign of Drew McIntyre lives to fight on. Thank you for joining us for the 2023 Money in the Bank event. It's been an incredible evening. Good night from Columbus, Ohio. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a ride.